Heading out for winterizing, honey. <laughs> Here's a quick look at the engine winterizing kit we use on our Sea Ray 410 Sundancer, including our DIY flesh cap. Hey, it's Captain Ryan, and uh, we've got a couple of uh, winterizing videos out there, one for the freshwater system and one for the engines and air conditioning and generator and stuff. And we've got a couple of questions about how uh, I sort of rigged up the, the pink antifreeze to flow into the engines and stuff. So here's here's my jig, right? I bought this this five gallon tank on at, uh, at West Marine 20 years ago, probably, right? I think they probably still have it though. And uh, so I made I made some changes to this. This this used to just be a tiny little hole to let air in, but I drilled that out so I could fill it up from here rather than trying to take this all apart to fill it up every time, right? So I put like about five gallons of pink in here, and then you want to connect this to the to the strainer. Right, so you know the strainers have a, a metal cap on them. So you take that off and you measure the two posts where the the, thumb, the wing nuts go, and see how big those are. And then I made a, this cap, it's kind of crazy, but the holes are the same distance away, so it slides over those posts, right? And you can put the wing nuts on. And what I did was I drilled a hole and jammed friction fit a uh, a, a hose end through there right and I also bought this uh, this rubbery uh, this stuff is actually shelf liner right so that helps make a seal right because so you don't want to be sucking air or letting the pinks drip out all into the bilge right and then I added this this uh, you know garden hose Y valve so I could have one a quick shut off but also it it's kind of serves as a, a, a an angled swivel right this was this is my old ones, my old prototype. And the problem with this was that this this what is this what do you call it melamine board or whatever, it's flexy, so it, it didn't hold a good seal when you tightened it up. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you know so I, I ended up abandoning these. You know here's my small one. Yeah. Oh. oh wow. Okay. So I ended up abandoning these and, and using plywood, which is you know it doesn't flex. Yep. So this is the next, ge the second generation of these for me. <laughs> and then I got this hose, and you know I made this this uh, clear one so you could see the flow, but that's not strictly necessary. A regular hose would do it, but you know uh, connect this to that end, and this to that end, okay. and then so then th this is all connected to the top of the strainer, and then I can just start the motor, and it sucks the pink out of the out of the tank and then once once that you know you're close to the bottom you shut the engine off that engine's winterized from, from a you know water perspective then you know uh the strainers for the generator and the uh air conditioner are smaller yet so i made a smaller version same same exact setup just smaller holes are closer together yeah right so that's my whole winterizing jig i can do the two engines with the big ones and the air conditioner and the generator with the small one. Uh, I run about five gallons of pink through each engine and like, maybe like three gallons through the air conditioner and three through the gen. Just so, and you know, it gives you enough time to look over the side and see the pinks coming out. Right. So no water left in the system, shut them, shut them off and you're good to go. Oh, and by the way, you know, I made these, I saw in the past they had a, a replacement actual metal lid for the strainers that had a hose connection on it, which would be awesome, right? I mm -hmm. would, wouldn't need to have done this. But then they disappeared off the market, but you're saying you've seen them now, they're back on the market? Yeah, somebody mentioned one, so we'll put it in the link below. Okay, and if I could find one, I'm buying it and throwing these out. <laughs> you work so hard on that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that was a project. All right, so we're about ready to start winterizing. Yeah, a couple of weeks and uh, I got to do this. Uh, I already got the pink in my trunk. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we'll be done in a few weeks. And this is just a quick equipment overview of your, your kit, but we got the full video with the step-by-step. -step. Yeah, check out our, our complete video so you can see, see this in action. I apologize for not covering this in more detail during that video, but we're rectifying that with this one. <laughs> All right. Where's my drink, honey? Oh, we'll get that. <laughs> Heading out for winterizing, honey. <laughs> Check out Captain Brian's full video on how we use this kit to winterize our engines, AC, and gen.